Welcome back to another episode of Bobby Hills Outdoors. We are going back to O'Reilly's because we are going to start back on Jared's truck that we started on probably seven or eight months ago, right? Has it been that long? Yeah, right about. Jared got some kind of grease all over the side of his truck. I don't know how he managed to do that. So I told him on the way home from work, on the way over here to my shop, to pick up some wax and grease remover. And he picked up this. Bug and tar remover, because he said that's what they told him at O'Reilly's to get. Did you tell them wax and grease remover? Yeah. You did? Oh wow, man. Well, O'Reilly's, shame on you because that is not wax and grease remover. What the f are you thinking? So now we're gonna go back to town. Yes, town, because I live like out in the country. Drive back to town to get parts or the right stuff that you need when you told them the first time they gave you bug and tar remover. Anyways, y'all stay tuned. Jared is soon to be sanding on his truck. We'll come to you with more action on that. All right, here's the progress on Jared's truck. This is the uh, grease he has all down inside or oil or something. I don't know what that is. Jared's been doing a little body work. Kind of showed him how to do it and <clears throat> he took it upon himself to figure it out. So, I think it'll be good, man. Bedliner's gonna cover most of it up. But he did all that. He did that. Look at that. Oh my God. And then he, he did the inside of his bed with scraped all the old bed liner out and rattle can the etching primer in there we'll get all this gonna spray a bed liner army green with black bumpers black bed liner bumpers and a black grill I think black grill it's gonna look good Hey, why don't you uh, kind of start where I left off here, where I showed you that way you can just go all the way down the side till you get to the to the to the to the back, you know? You just like I did this, or whatever, and you just jumped over here and like. I thought that was all done. You, okay, okay. Let's <laughs> let's get the let's get this under control. Let's get right this right. Here. This right here. See where this is smooth? Uh -huh. Right here. See how that is? Yeah, yeah. That's how the whole truck needs to be done. I stopped right there to show you. Right. Oh, that's not done. See, it's still shiny. shiny. Yep. Not shiny. Shiny? Not shiny. You got it? Yeah. All right, cool. So Jared finally decided to come back after a week of vacation from his truck. No, I'm on vacation now. On vacation now? We're on vacation now. What are you going to do for your vacation? Absolutely nothing. Well, you got to, we got to get this truck we're, we're, done. We're, we're, we're going to do this. Buddy. Okay. All right. Well, let's get started. Going to pull the front fender liners out. All the sanding looks good. I think it's going to stick like that. And then, um, we are going to wipe it all down, or blow it off, then wipe it all down, and then get the masking, the fun part. I'll let you get to it, man. We'll do. We gotta put these blankets down because that bed liner sticks like crazy. All right, well, I just knocked the paper over. We got Jared taping it up. I came over here and uh, taped this window off for him to show him how to kind of tape it. And he was gonna, I guess, start on the other window, but he just skipped it and came back over to this door handle. Yeah, I like to do the hard stuff first, so that's just me, I get it knocked out. And then I kind of started showing him how to do that windshield, and then I actually ended up doing the whole windshield. So, I mean, really, we ought to be painting here pretty quick because all you got left to mask off is the back window. And that side window that he just skipped, jumped over the lake over there, back on the door handle. See, he got that started. And um, he didn't get the paper and finish it. He just stopped there and went over there and started that. So, you know, it's like back and forth, like what's going on here. Um, it's a mystery. That's not really the way to do it, but you know, whatever. Floats his boat, it's good. And hopefully he'll get that back window done and then we just got to do the wheels and tires and then this back tailgate handle put some paper over these bumpers mask off a little under the inner fender wells we'll be good to go all right jared got it taped up
Did that paper fall out? What's that, man? So Where'd they come from? Loose paper on the ground. Did it fall from somewhere? It came from the paper getting place. We got two whole gallons, so we they said to use a whole quart of paint for two gallons of the tenable Raptor liner. So that's gonna be four ounces a a quart. So that's what we're doing. We're gonna mix two quarts up at a time, then pour them back in the bottles. All right, you're good. Get in there, man. Don't be scared of it. Just paint. What do you think about it, dude? Let's get in there. So what about a you know pancake batter mixer kind of deal? You know? Yeah, pancake batter mixer. Yeah. Yeah, that that work great. Why not? All right, so we got Jared's truck done. The green is on. What do you think about it, Jared? It looks awesome. Oh, it looks awesome. I think it turned out pretty good. Don't know about the color. I wasn't too fond of it at first, but it, it's kind of grown on me now. I kind of like it. It's Jared's thing, so we'll let him uh, roll with it. But it looks good. Look at that. Look at that Raptor liner, man. That's awesome. Can't beat that Raptor liner, huh, Jared? No, you can't. Look at that, man. It looks good. I like how the Raptor liner lays down. There's a couple spots in the bed where I see a little brush strokes, but I think it's gonna dry pretty good and those brush strokes will go away. But we got that painted up in there. It's all gonna match. Jerry's gonna go with the windows tinted, some new tints, because that is junk. He's gonna get a new infamous paintball sticker in black, I believe. Yellow's not popping with the with the oh, green. Then these bumpers tomorrow, this is, um, this is etching primer from Nathan. We're gonna paint those black tomorrow. Put a black grill. We're gonna we're gonna paint them. We're gonna bedline them black. We're gonna bedline the grill black. We're gonna bedline these bed caps black. And then the mirrors over there. Little inserts in the mirror. <clears throat> you wanted those black, right? Yeah. The mirrors. Yeah. Cool. And then we'll put this back on. We'll clean that up. It'll be good to go, man. Other than that, look at look at that. That bedliner turned out good. Texture's right. I got about two full coats on it. Okay, so we're back on the next day. Jared showed up with trash bag, cleaning trash up. Truck turned out pretty awesome. Look at this. So that's the Raptor liner with the tint. The green tint he picked out. So now today, we're gonna bedline toolbox the uh, move front bumpers and rear bumpers, bed caps, and grill. Black, we're gonna do those black. Then we'll get it all put back together.
Anyways, we're finished bedlining the bumpers out here and the toolbox and the bed caps. And what else we do? The mirrors. Did the mirrors over there. They're hanging up. Painted the bow tie semi-gloss black right there. It's gonna be alright. Get a little bit of trash, but it'll buff out. You ever buff spray paint? It's turned out pretty good. Jared got down again today. Sanded his butt off on the bumpers. So they look pretty good. So it's the Raptor liner black. Comes in there. These are the move front bumpers that you weld yourself. Talking about the semi gloss ones on the back side. The, uh, yeah, Jared painted underneath the bumpers. Yeah. <laughs> and then I uh, got the toolbox, bed caps, and the grill. So he's going to run the factory grill for right now. But we bedlined it. It turned out pretty good. I don't know how long it's going to stick on there, but it'll be good. We're going to have to uh, do another video because it's going to take too long to put all this together. Tomorrow we're going to back it onto the lift, get everything put together, new headlights, everything's new. Y'all stay tuned for the next one. Watch out for part two. If you like this episode of Bobby Hills Outdoors, hit that like button. If you didn't like it, don't watch it. Hit the dislike button. I don't care. If you do want to see some more lowrider videos, hot rod videos, hunting videos, and stuff like this, hit that subscribe button. Hit the little bell right next to it. It'll let you know next time I upload a new video, and you won't miss no action over here at Bobby Hills Outdoors. Thanks for watching. West side, could you pass me my steel? I'm the king of the hill.